this one. We are just one chapter in our client long life story. And uh, so with how long life is in general, even though for a lot of people they feel like life is so short, if you talk to a 19 year old that's about to turn 20, they feel like they're about to become old. Anytime that, anytime I guess maybe you get someone that is below, like below or nearing the threshold of some anniversary date, whether that's 20, 25, 40 for somebody, we, um, we can often get caught up in feeling like life is so short but, man, life is long. At least that's genuinely how I feel right now. Life is so long. And let's say that you work with someone, regardless of how old they are, let's say you work with someone for two years. Whether you're working with them from 13 to 15, 15 to 17, or 42 to 44, Still, that's that's honestly such a small chunk out of all the life experiences that you have. So, the way that I look at it is, I I I try really hard to do the best that I can in the time that I have with that person, but I try not to think of myself as being a bigger deal in their life than I than I am because they have so many things, right? You know, they have family stuff, you know. When in doubt, just put stuff at the end of it, and it sounds busy. You know, have you ever thought about that? Like, if you really don't want to tell people what you're doing or what is occupying your time, just say stuff at the end of it. Hey, I have family stuff. I have doctor stuff. I have car stuff. I have travel stuff. I, I, saying that just kind of makes, makes it sound like, oh, he doesn't want to talk about it, but it sounds like a lot. Uh, but no, so really like I'm here for them. They're not necessarily here for me because I mean, at the end of the day, this also is a professional relationship, not so much starting off as a personal relationship. Uh, but like, so you also have to treat that with integrity. And, uh, so what did I write down here? With how long life is, I don't think my impact on anyone's life is like that substantial. And I don't say that to be dark, but I say that to be a realist. I think that some of the biggest things that I can instill in people are positive change, a different outlook on things. So when it comes to work, I treat that with respect. That's why I'm often surprised when I hear others are talking about me or when they're like writing a card preparing something for me. Because... Sometimes I think, why would they think about me when I'm not around them? Like, there are other things that you could be thinking about. Because I, I, at the end of the day, I'm here to positively impact them. And it still shocks me and impresses me when people unintentionally end up impacting me back. Um, but I think that that mindset, I kind of think that to kind of protect my sanity sometimes. Because... It can make you feel a certain way when you spend all of this time and somebody misses several sessions or when you have to repeat yourself on a cue or a topic that you've already said several times. Because if you just acknowledge all the things that are going on in their head, going on in their life, it helps me not take things personally. If they forget what I told them yesterday, if they forget what we did two weeks ago, if they forget to show up to their session because they just forgot to tell me that they weren't going to, it at least helps me not take things personally because I don't think their decision to forget is a reflection on me and my personality. It's a reflection on all of the stuff that they have going on in their lives and I'm just there to try to manage it. Hey, you forgot this topic that we have already discussed? That's okay. I'll reinforce it and we will reinforce it now. So, yeah, I guess all I all I can say is I really take that stance because I try not to take things personally. Cause, you know, at the end of the day, who am I? You know, I'm just, I'm just a cast in their play that is their life. So, that is everything that I had written. Um, 
why don't you let me know out of all of these six things which of them were most helpful for you to hear right and uh Once again, thank you, everybody, for listening. This, once again, was episode three of the Yuha Yubi podcast, and it can be found at anchor.fm. Oh, no, I'm going to forget the name of it. Um, it can be found in three places, anchor.fm. It can also be found at Spotify if you just search the Yuha Yubi podcast, and we are now available on Pocket Casts, soon to be available on other platforms, but currently three is plenty. There's no reason why you'd be listening to this podcast again and again on three different platforms. But anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you, everybody, and I will see you soon.